Mr. President, it is an official honor as Speaker of the House to welcome you uh, to the United States Capitol. It is a personal pleasure for me to do so as one who has admired your leadership for you. such a time. Uh, the last time we were together was in, right before COVID struck, uh, we were in uh, Yad Vashem in Jerusalem uh, to commemorate the 75th anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz. It was a historic event attended by kings and presidents and prime ministers and the rest at uh, your invitation. At your invitation, I was honored to bring a bipartisan delegation uh, to be with you, to pay our respects. On the way, we stopped at Auschwitz, our delegation did, to make uh, the experience even more, even more uh, meaningful to us. Uh, upon our return, we uh, passed legislation to allocate more resources for the study of the Holocaust in America. That was the last time we were together. Uh, but all along, uh, we had had a great friendship. The support for Israel in this Congress has, has always been strongly bipartisan, uh, as you wish, and it will continue to be so uh, because of our shared values and because of our mutual security concerns. So again, we, our bipartisan group looks forward to meeting with you, having a conversation with you. We're honored to receive you in the Capitol, and thank you for your friendship and for your visit, Mr. President. Thank you so very much. Madam Speaker, I'm so delighted. I'm so delighted to be here and meet you once again. Thank you for your participation in the event of the releasing or to the mark of 70 year, 75 years of the liberation of Auschwitz-Birkenau last January, January 2020. Israel has no greater friend. Israel has no greater friend than the United States of America. The unique, the unique ties between the two nations have uh, always been based on shared values of democracy and liberalism. We are partners. We are parties, dear speaker. We are friends, our nations bound together. Friends, friends may have disagreements from time to time. This will never, never endanger the, our close um, uh, relationship. Our shared mission uh, crosses the boundaries of uh, parties and governments. Even when leadership change, our obligation to each other or to other remains along and strong, even strong, or even more strong. I know that the security, the security and the well-being of the Israeli people as well as the American Jewish living here in the United States are very, very close to your heart. On behalf of the people of Israel, I thank you, Madam Speaker, and all the American people and the American administrations for your solid support for the State of Israel and for Israel's security. Thank you so very much for receiving me once again to the Capitol. The Capitol is the shrine of democracy for all the free world. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so very much.